Software changes all the time. In fact, it is nearly impossible to write great software without ever changing and updating the code from time to time. This inevitable characteristic brings upon one of the most important concepts in software engineering: cohesion and coupling. The understanding of cohesion and coupling leads to the development of software that can be changed easily, quickly, and without introducing new bugs. In other words, by considering cohesion and coupling, software engineers are able to create reliable and extensible software. The cohesion and coupling concept is often involved in object-oriented programming design. Sounds interesting, right? But what exactly is cohesion and coupling? Well, to answer that, let's look at each of them one by one. Let's get started with cohesion. Cohesion is the degree of which the related things are grouped together. If the related things are grouped together, they have high cohesion, and if they are not, they have low cohesion. Let's take a look at the example. The low cohesion class consists of six main thoughts, which are get name, get description, get price, get location. Get product availability and get quantity on hand. However, these methods are under a single live product class. Therefore, when extending methods to create a more compact product system, the class can become bulky and difficult to maintain. On the other hand, the high cohesion separates the classes to form these methods. Its class only contains the business functions involved. The product catalog. Only contains is display information, and itself concerned about the price and the product availability, and the warehouse concerned about the location and the product quantity that they have. In object-oriented programming, high cohesion classes or classes with strongly focused functionality are preferred as they enhance reusability, maintainability, and readability. The next one is coupling. Coupling is the degree of interdependence between things. If one thing is highly dependent on the other things, it is tightly coupled. And if they are less dependent, it is loosely coupled. For example, the tightly coupled classes use Firebase as a database. The Firebase class contains all of the Rails methods specific to the Firebase API. And the user class is the actor that utilizes the Firebase functions. The problem with this method is that if the database must be changed, both the Firebase class and the user class must also be modified to accommodate the changing in database. On the other hand, the loosely coupled classes separate the logical part of the database into an interface and implement specific databases accordingly. The user class also accepts the database as a specified. This way, when the database must be changed, we only need to implement a new database, and that's it. The logic in the interface and the user class remain the same. In object-oriented programming, loosely coupled classes or classes that have less dependency with other classes implementation are preferred because they minimize the need to modify the logic across several classes. The benefits from the loosely coupled implementations are especially seen in database and cloud provider design, and it allows the software to ship its database and cloud provider easily and seamlessly. So to conclude, good software must have high cohesion and low coupling, so that when changes must be made, the software will remain reliable. Without a doubt, that cohesion and coupling concept contributes an extremely valuable practice to the software engineering industry. But who is the hero behind this concept, and how did it all begin? Let's find this out together by going back in time to February 14, 1943, in Anoka, Minnesota, when Larry Leroy Constantine was born. As a child, Constantine explored his musical abilities through piano, saxophone, and violin. 
When he entered Anoka High School, one of the oldest and largest high schools in the state of Minnesota in 1961, Constantine was voted as the most likely to succeed person. He has devoted himself to studying and researching software development ever since he was a teenager. While studying at MIT, he started to have a full-time job as a technical aide at MIT Lab for Nuclear Science in 1963. In the same year, Constantine shifted to work on programming, project management tools, economic simulations, and business application at the CEIR company. And after being a consultant and a programmer at CEIR for three years, he established his own consulting company and became the president of the Information and System Institute from 1966 to 1968. From 1967 to 1968, while working several jobs and studying at MIT, Constantine and his colleagues started looking into the patterns and techniques used in the system that we program on the computer. As looking into them, they started to discover the importance of careful designs and implementation on the system, and decided to further research the subject. Shortly after the research and recommendation, Constantine and his colleagues publish the discipline of structure design, which includes the concept of structure charts, data flow diagrams, and especially copying and cohesion that now widely be used in the software development. There is no doubt that all of these experiences result in a valuable approach that we call coupling and cohesion. Moreover, we can see how good he is at multi-hacking, but these are not all of what he can do. There is another side showing that he is not just an American software engineer, but also a therapist who believes that human really matter. He once said, Hiring people to write code to sell is not the same as hiring people to design and build durable, usable, and dependable software. Besides his publication regarding software development, Constantine completed a two years postgraduate certificate program from Boston Family Institute in 1973, then assisted clinical professor of physiatry in training family therapists at Trump's University and supervised training at Boston State Hospital for seven years. During that time, he received a license of merit and family therapist in Massachusetts and was approved as a clinical supervisor by American Association for Marriage and Family Therapy. With passion, he also did research and contributed to theory in family therapy and human system that were written in family paradigms and applied in organization development. You probably think that he may not only a hero of SE anymore, since he did so many useful approaches for our world. Actually, he got several remarkable awards for his work as well. His work on structure design was written in the book called Software for Use by collaborating with other writers Ed Jordan and Lucy Rockwood. In 1999, this book was awarded as a Joint Award for Products Excellence, which can say that it is the best book of 1999. A couple of years later, Constantine got the Platinum Award of Excellence from Performance Center Design Competition 2001. As constantly working on his specialized area, he received the Stephen Awards for Outstanding Contribution to the literature or practice of method for software and system development in 2009. From 2009 till now, Konstantin has published some work related to software engineering, commercial fiction, and publication in other fields. His last publication we can find is Gasoline, a fiction about threat and vulnerabilities in critical energy infrastructure. Now, Constantine worked as a novelist and freelance journalist, and he is still being a, the hero and inspired people to his writing. Three.
created using Powtoon.